Planet Dolan. From using someone else's crayon without asking to the proper way of making a sandwich, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the dumbest things we've seen people fight over. Hellbent's the name, narration is the game. Let's begin. Number 10 was submitted by Vion Triminaxrius. At school, Nixiom's friend wanted to borrow a pencil from a classmate. When he was done borrowing it, the classmate found that it wasn't sharp anymore. He told Nixiom's friend that he should have sharpened it and then said, YOU MOTHERFUCKER! That was when the classmate punched Nixiom's friend in the face, and his friend punched the classmate in the face. We usually call that a fight, but that's how it's described here. Both of them were suspended for two weeks, a two-week vacation for being idiots. Nixion thought it was the weirdest fight for the dumbest reason, not sharpening a pencil. I don't know about that claim. Here at Planet Dolan HQ, we get daily beatings for mispronouncing words. So, thank you, Vion Trim Maxima Loresilis. I appreciate you very much. Number nine was submitted by JDA Boss underscore. One day, Melissa was walking down the street when she saw two guys in the opposite direction pointing at birds. They saw a bird that they didn't recognize and started to debate over what bird it could be. One guy bet the other guy a whole dollar that he was right, so the other guy took out his phone and did a search for the bird. Now, hold on to your seats, kids. It turned out that one of them was right and had won the dollar. The winner had rubbed the dollar bill in the loser's face, making him scream in anger before punching him in the gut! The winner cussed at the guy and screamed, I'm not gonna follow you on Instagram anymore! The loser replied, Well, I will delete you from my contacts! The winner was so hurt by what the loser said that he started to cry but not before taking off his shoes and throwing them at him. Melissa just walked away, confused. Though she probably walked away a lot easier than the guy who threw his shoes. What an idiot. Number eight was submitted by Pasta Freak 16 one Dolop witnessed a dumb fight in her school's cafeteria one day. She was sitting at her table eating breakfast when she looked at the table next to her. One girl was sitting in another girl's usual spot, and that caused a fight to break out. The girl that wanted her usual seat threw the other girl to the ground and began slamming her head against the floor like a crazed chimpanzee. A teacher rushed into the fight and dragged the girl off the other. Then the teacher dragged the angry girl all the way back to the office by the back of her shirt. The other girl was sent home early due to her injuries, but later everyone found out that the injuries weren't that bad. Which makes me wonder why this is part of the story, probably could have left that out, ah, whatever. Number 7 was submitted by Pokey Trainer 77777. In the second grade, James Shark and the rest of his class were working on a coloring puzzle. One of his friends was almost done, but didn't have the last color that he needed. So, we asked a classmate if he could borrow the crayon with the necessary color. There was no answer, so James Shark's friend took it. When he was done, he returned it to the classmate who asked if the crayon was his. James Shark's friend said that it was, and the classmate replied, Why didn't you ask me? Then he slapped his friend across the face. In response, his friend punched the classmate. A fight broke out, which lasted several seconds before the teacher broke it up. They were suspended for two days. Number six was submitted by Zero Mr. Fantastic Face. One time, Paprika was at a friend's house playing games. She got hungry after a while, so she decided to make herself a sandwich. There was only one loaf of bread, so Paprika decided to use one slice of bread and one slice of cheese. Her friends saw the sandwich she had created and started to argue with her about having just cheese on only one slice of bread. And you know what? I agree. What's wrong with you? She went on to tell Paprika that it was tasteless because the cheese didn't have any flavor. It just so happened that a friend of theirs was on call with them and the friend sided with Paprika saying the cheese was good. The argument continued for a while longer. 
before her friend's brother yelled at them to stop fighting over something so dumb. Ah, the voice of reason. It's like angels flying from above to come down and whisper sweet truths into my ears. Number 5 was submitted by Anna Steel Fox 17. Spinal Palm and his dumbass friend got into a stupid argument one day. During recess when they were in 6th grade, Spinal Palm and his friend saw a cool looking stick. When they went to pick it up, they ended up grabbing it at the same time, and instead of a nice romantic moment of eye to eye contact between friends, they began to argue since they both really wanted it. After a while, the argument got so heated that a teacher had to intervene. Now that they're older, Spinal Palm and his friend look back and laugh about the dumb fight they had over a stupid stick. Number 4 was submitted by Them Crispy Games. Wolfgang was at a restaurant with his family one time. His sister was 10 and his brother was 9. His brother blew a straw wrapper off his straw, being the immature kid he was. When he went to pick it up to do it again, his sister picked it up and used it as a scarf for the fox plushie she had with her. Then Wolfgang's brother started to argue with her, telling her to give it back to him. Then he started grabbing for it while his sister kept saying that she had it first. It caused a scene after a while, and Wolfgang saw someone from another table glaring at them. So Wolfgang snatched the straw wrapper from them and tore it up, while his brother and sister yelled at him for tearing up their precious toy. Wolfgang just sat there, minding his own business. Not only was Wolfgang embarrassed, but so were his parents. Number 3 was submitted by FUCK YEAH CHICKEN STRIPS 9! One day, Sweet Commando, living up to his name as a Sweet Commando, went to Walmart to get his little brother some snacks. While looking in the chip aisle, two big, fat soccer moms came down the aisle with their kids. The disgusting pig roaches started grabbing at all the food they could get their fat, grubby hands on. One of them grabbed a big bag of Cheetos while the other slammed her shopping cart into the other mom so she could grab her Jolly Ranchers. And well, you know how it is with fat mothers. You steal a bag of Jolly Ranchers and you just made an enemy for life. This is when they began to fight. Even some of the kids were fighting. At one point, one of the moms said, I breathed on it first. Then a kid said, My mom has had more men than you'll ever have. Sweet Commando just laughed his ass off as the fight continued. Soon the moms and their kids were kicked out of the store. After paying for his items like a respectable member of the human race, Sweet Commando went outside and saw that the moms were still fighting in the parking lot. One of them even had a switchblade, all for a bag of Jolly Ranchers. Number 2 was submitted by the Potato Dapper. Zara Gamba was at the school library when his friend suddenly yelled, I like Donald's! Someone else in the library said in response, No, you don't. That was when Zara Gamba's friend and the other kid began to fight. It went on for a while until a teacher came out and yelled at them to stop, just as Zara Gamba's friend was telling the kid that he will go after his family. At that moment, Zara Gamba realized he needed to get new friends. Number 1 was submitted by Melted Ice Cubes DX. Wait a minute, isn't that just water? When he was in the 5th grade, an author was coming to Derek's school, so the school had the students decorate the classroom doors in the theme of one of her books. Derek and his friends were some of the people who worked on the project. As he walked to the back of the classroom to get some glue, Derek overheard two girls yelling at each other. Apparently, they were fighting over whether or not the door to their classroom should have snowflakes. The fight escalated very quickly and one girl even threatened the other with a pair of scissors. Their teacher went over to them and said that they could no longer work on the project. This story makes no other mention about scissors or the fight, so I assume they were just allowed to kill each other. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's the most desperate thing you've ever tried to do to get out of trouble? Let us know on the Reddit page linked below and you might be featured in a future countdown. 
Hey guys, I'm Derek, one of the writers at Planet Dolan. Check out my most recent podcast, where Danger Dolan and I have a behind-the-scenes discussion about writing the various scripts for the Planet Dolan and Super Planet Dolan videos. Click on the link below to watch it. Thanks, and enjoy the podcast.